If ever your bobbin seems sluggish and turning first thing you do when you open it up, you want to turn the wheel a few times just to see how it's turning. This one's turning fine. Um, the needle was moving a little slow on this. It had not been oiled in a while. So the spot where you want to oil in this particular type machine is one drop and it goes right in this little center hole. Just one little drop in there. That's all it's going to need. Of course, it's always good that when you uh, are cleaning your machine that you be sure to you know, do a little bit of vacuuming there. I'm going to wipe that excess off before I actually sew with this. And once you put that drop in there to put the bobbin plate back on, you want your needle up, obviously. It's best to do this without a needle in it, but I was just using this machine earlier to test some stitching. And it goes under there, pops in, and then this just slides shut. But I will wipe off that extra oil in there from the bobbin racing area. So with this, this area here, now that I've got my camera a little bit closer, if I can this top back on here okay so in here you would put you would put a drop here where this metal rubs against the other metal you would put one in this area here where that metal rubs on that that's another elbow joint I call it and then of course from here where this metal rubs here and sometimes um, I, I, as I go through the top of this machine I will put a drop right here because that portion needs to be free moving for when you're doing different stitches and things like that and the grease part goes down here you can see the gear in there that is where your gear grease goes, is right in there. You want to chip off any old gear grease, and you want to put in the fresh new uh, TriFlow synthetic gear grease um, in order to make that work properly. This is the TriFlow clear synthetic grease. I use it with all, all my machines, whether they be vintage or new. Um, mostly my machines are all vintage. I do have a couple that are maybe built sooner than the 90s <laughs> or, or around the 90s, but not very many. And you don't want to over grease your machine. You also don't want to over oil it. So I've just placed it in strategic spots that helps it to move faster. I'm going to run this real quick and see. If I've, re if I've recovered from my sluggishness, and let's see how this goes. Oh, I got my pedal messed up here. Oh, come here, puddle. Okay. You see how slow this is? It needs some more gear grease put on this. And... As I can, as in looking at it, I see that it's, it could use some. So, and then there's another gear, which I did not spot before. I just saw it. And I don't know, it's going to be hard to get to it, but I'm going to figure it out. It is down in here. There is a gear right in here, underneath this metal part. So, I'm going to have to be real careful in getting it, the uh, grease in there. So, and I know, but that's where I'm going to have to put some grease. And that, there's another gear. It's hard to show you from this angle with this metal piece on here. I'd have to remove that. And, uh, but there's this gear right under this piece. There is a gear. I don't know if you can see it down in there past that red tip. There you can kind of see it in the lower left-hand portion, but that gear also goes to the other side over here. 
So I will have to put grease on both sides. But that is how you get the sluggishness out of your machine. I'm going to put some gear grease in there and see if I can't get this moving a little faster.